All right, my friends, today we're deciding whether or not the Flightscope Mevo Plus or the Skytrack is right for you. Let's dive into this and get the nitty gritty for you. These are the two top home golf simulator monitors here. These are it. Unless you want to go to that upper echelon GC Quad or Skytrack for $12,000, $15,000, dollars $25,000. Probably not. So, Flightscope Mevo and Skytrack both, let's just say $2,000 each. So, I'm going to rank these on what's best and what might be best for you depending on what scenario you might be utilizing these in. As always, I will leave links for both of these products in the video description below, I do get an affiliate commission on both of these, but I'm still going to give you the good, bad, and ugly on both of these as well. So you can make the best decision for you. So right out of the gate, you can use both of these with the free software available. However, this Skytrack, the free, you get bare bones minimum. You're going to at least want the $100 a year upgrade premium plan so that you can utilize the stuff you would normally use. So right out of the gate, when it comes to price out of the box, I'm gonna give the nod here to Flightscope Mevo because with its out of the box features, it's gonna be better than Skytrack. Sorry, buddy, but Flightscope got you there. When you use Flightscope Mevo, you can use the E6 Connect app or the Flightscope app. I highly recommend you just use the Flightscope app. It's gonna be easier to navigate. Usability with these is gonna be a huge factor for you when you're making your decision. Flightscope sits directly behind the ball. So you can be right-handed or left-handed and have multiple people hitting and you're not gonna to have to reposition Flightscope. Skytrack, however, sits on the side of the golf ball. So if you have a right-handed and then a left-handed player, it's going to be challenging because not only do you have to move this and flip it around, you also have to go inside and select right-handed, left-handed player so the laser knows where to go and it knows which direction the ball is going to be traveling. So as far as usability for multiple people, I'm going to give the nod to Flightscope. If that's something you're going to do, then Flightscope might be the better, easier way to go for you. And with that, the reason they do it different ways is because they use different types of ball capturing uh, technology. This is going to be radar technology where it picks up that ball as it travels. This is a photo based technology. So it just picks up that ball as it travels a shorter distance. This comes into play determining, let's say, your room size. So if you have a very short, limited space, indoor primarily only, I would go with the Skytrack because you just need a little bit of hitting room to get a good uh, ball simulation. If you have a little more distance, however, and you're going to be outdoors a lot, then Flightscope is going to be better suited for you because that's going to track the ball for a longer period of time. So outdoors, I'm going to give the nod to Flightscope because it's not going to be hampered by sunlight. Indoors, however, I would give the nod to Skytrack because you can utilize a much shorter space. However, sunlight does affect Skytrack a little bit. For all intents and purposes, indoors, Skytrack's a little bit better. Outdoors, Flightscope Mevo is going to be the way to go. If you're doing both, I'm going to give the nod to Flightscope Mevo Plus. So another thing you're going to want to factor in is room interference. Okay, that's going to affect your radar much more than your photo based technology. So if you have what they call a dirty room, that's a room where there's a lot of technology, let's say in the lighting, in your computer, whatever you got plugged into the outlets that can make it a, a dirty electromagnetic EMF style room then I would go with Skytrack because it's less affected by the EMF signals than the radar-based technology. Now, 
the great part. Let's dig into accuracy. So the first thing I did was I set up my track man and I got a baseline number for pitching wedge, six iron and the driver. And I did that so I would have kind of something to gauge both of these off of. See if there's anything way out of bounds, out of whack, whatever. I wanted something that I know I can trust 100% of the time. So TrackMan was my baseline and I'd hit 10 shots, pitching wedge, six iron and driver with TrackMan. Just kind of get an average of what I was doing for the day. I'm using the new Pro V1 golf balls with the metal layer inside the ball. These are the ones you want for TrackMan. For any device, I highly recommend you get those balls. I'll leave a link below in the video description for those. You don't want to be putting a silver dot on your ball anymore. Titleist has solved that and those balls are phenomenal. First up was Flight Scope Mevo Plus. And I hit 10 wedge shots, 10 six irons, and 10 drivers. And I compared my numbers, my average numbers, with what was happening on TrackMan. Then I hit SkyTrack, same thing. 10 wedges, 10 six iron, 10 drivers. So in terms of accuracy, who is the winner? All right, in terms of carry distance on all the clubs. Everything was pretty much similar. I'm not gonna say one was like, whoa, you're getting way more here or there. Not so much, all right? So in terms of carry distance with each club, they were all in the same range. And in terms of club head speed for every club, they were all in the same range. I like that. So. There, it wasn't like one was giving me five miles an hour more than the other. They were all relatively the same. What varied in the data was spin rate. So the most accurate spin rate, I'd say closest to TrackMan was gonna be SkyTrack. It got the spin rate closest to TrackMan. Flightscope Mevo didn't. Now to be fair, I'm in a short, indoor facility with the radar technology. So if you're outdoors or you take this to the range or things like that, that's going to be a lot more accurate because it needs a little bit more distance to pick up an extra revolution or two so that it can do its mathematic formulas better. So overall accuracy, I'm not going to make a winner either way. I think they're both incredibly accurate compared to TrackMan. However, it just depends on your environment and what really you're looking for in terms of that data. And that goes to our last and final piece is, let's say the user interface. What are you looking for? I love how SkyTrack looks. The graphic display, it's just cool, it's unique. I, I like it, I like how everything's laid out. It's really ease of use is right there and it's easy to see. I love the look of this. Flightscope, it, it reminds me more of TrackMan layout and display. It's more, I would say, data-driven than like video game looking driven. So just depends on the type of person you are. If you like a little more of a uh, video game style, I would look at the SkyTrack. That might be something for you. If you like more data points, then I would go with Flightscope Mevo. But that's person to person everybody's a little different in terms of what user interface they like the best. They're both completely different. Comment down below, let me know which of the two you prefer, which you think is better. If you have any questions, put them down. I'll try to get to as many as I can. So keep reading those comments and see, and we can all help each other in the community because a lot of people know about a lot of stuff about these things. So anything I missed, comment down below. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you next video.